So a couple of videos ago, I looked at these two sets of data, and we compared each of these uh, uh, statistical bits of analysis. So we've got the mean, median, mode, range, lower quartile, upper quartile, interquartile range. And what we found was the means were the same, medians were the same, the modes didn't really make much sense comparing them, the range was the same, the quartiles were the same, and so the interquartile range was the same. So we were left uh, scratching our heads, really, of how can we compare these two sets of data, because clearly they are different. So now that we've learnt the standard deviation as a measure of spread and finding how uh, far data is on average away from the mean, we can now compare, go back to the original sets of data and compare the standard deviations to see if there is a difference. So um, we want to go into menu and then number six with our Casio class whiz. And then we want to go to number one for one variable. Um, you can do uh, the number 2y equals a plus bx and look at them both at the same time if you like. Um, I'm going to go in and just do them using this. So uh, I'm going to type in the data 2, 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 18 and 18. So then go to option and then number 3 for one variable calculations. And what you're looking for for the standard deviation, okay, is the sigma x. Okay, now, um, the sigma x that we have there is, in this case, 5.56 to three significant figures. Okay, now, as a proviso here, okay, um, and as, uh, well, not a provisor, but um, just an addition here. If you are studying OCR MEI, then the standard deviation as it is referred to by MEI, then we look at the, in the calculator, you've got to scroll down to SX. Okay, and you've got to use that. Now, the reason for that, I will be making clear in a couple of videos' time, okay? So if you're studying OCR MEI, then uh, what they refer to as the standard deviation is SX, um, which for the rest of us, uh, using, using AQA, uh, OCR, and Edexcel, uh, we would refer to as the sample standard deviation. Okay, that's what the SX uh, is that we would use. But for MEI, the standard deviation is SX. Okay, so just so we're clear. So we've got the 5.56 for that one. And uh, if you're doing MEI, then you'd have 5.83. Okay. As for the second set of data, so menu, uh, number six, one variable, and then put in the data, two, five, five, six, six, 10, 14, 14, 15, 15, and 18. So then we want to go to option number three for one variable calculation. And then the sigma x is 5.15. Okay, the three sig fig. The sx, if you're doing MEI, is 5.40. Okay, so we now have something different at last. All right. So, when you are uh, comparing standard deviations, you want to also be comparing the means here, okay? So, if I'm going to write down two statements, standard deviations go with the means, okay? Uh, median goes with interquartile range. So, mean and standard deviation. So, uh, we can say from the fact that A and B both have the same mean, so A and B both have the same mean. So um, if they were two uh, classes, set of uh, scores, then on average, uh, students in one class have done precisely the same as the other. Okay? 
so on average. So, um, how would you say that? So on average, so on average, um, have both achieved the same score. Now clearly this problem doesn't have any context to it, so um, I'm just putting that in for understanding's sake. Now as for the standard deviation, however, there is a difference. Okay? So class B, so B has a smaller standard deviation. And remember, what that is telling you is the average uh, distance the data points are away from the mean. And so because that number is smaller, those data points are, on average, closer together. Okay? And so they are more consistent. So B has a smaller standard deviation, and so its data is more consistent than A. Okay? So that is what we can infer from comparing the means and the standard deviations.